Hey, what's going on guys? Joe with OMGRC.com. So today, it's not new. This is from like 2010. It's something I picked up on Facebook Marketplace. Just happened to be looking and the guy had posted it within like two minutes of posting and I was like, I'm on this thing. So I was like, hey, let's meet up. He was about a half mile, he was about 30 minutes away from me, so we met halfway. So it was only like a, it was gonna be like an hour drive. But anyway, let's take a look at the outside of the box here. This was a full, true, ready to run. As you can see here, what it came with, the charger, the uh, nickel metal hydride battery, the eight double A's. This is a 27 megahertz radio. It's not a 2.4 gigahertz that we're used to as of now. This is a Hobby Town exclusive um, HPI vehicle. Really cool on that part of it. So let's go ahead and just take a look on the outside still. Let's flip this box off the side. But look here, even the drivetrain, as far as the transmission, all metal. What do we get now? We get plastic. So, you know, this was nice. I mean, you look at the, even just the chassis layout. I'm digging it. I would like that still. Why didn't, you know, as far as what they've come out with, like I have the jump shot over here. It's not bad, but it does have plastic gears that are in there as well. And if they would have went with these, I don't see why HPI, why we didn't stick with this thing. This is probably a proven transmission. You guys can let me know if you had one of these, it was a transmission good, but all in all, really nice. And it's even, what's really nice is the condition of this vehicle. So let's get into the box and see what it's, how it looks. All right, guys, so look at all the stuff that I got, man. I mean, he didn't, he didn't run this thing much at all. And uh, 50 bucks, crazy. So let, leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of crazy deals that you got with an RC car. So uh, yeah, here we go. So 27 megahertz, okay, it's not 2.4 gigahertz, no big deal. It does work still, and it does have eight AA batteries in there. They're not leaking or anything like that. So I'll probably pop those out here soon anyway. So nice deal on that part of it. I just had the cover off just to make it easier to, to get to and show you guys. Charger, it's probably like two pound charger or something like that, crazy. You get these little cheesy ones now. This thing was heavy duty uh, back 2010 or whatever, it's nice. Um, you know, 7.2 volts, nickel metal hydride battery, 3,300 milliamps. It's got the Tamiya connection that's on there. You, do, you even got the little parts here too for, you know, adjusting as far as your shock dampening and all that. Tool still in the bag. So very cool. Body clips. These little pieces here, I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but uh, if I'm not mistaken, these are what gonna they're going to do is uh, to tow in the wheels a little bit more. But um, yeah, pretty nice. This here is just for the flag. This would be to let people know what frequency you're on. Like if it's 27 megahertz, it's 27 megahertz point dot dot dot. Usually like three digits afterwards, something like that. Uh, just th that's something that they had to do at the time. Uh, little foam pieces here for your battery. Stickers, they didn't touch the stickers or anything like that. So that's cool as well. Uh, you know, just the information that's in here. I mean, he just kept it all. So it was so cool. So I was like, man, he's like a brand new one. So crazy, instruction manual, all good. Now I do have, you guys leave a comment down below too. Now we got this jump shot. So I'm pretty much gonna say that this jump shot, this, you know, um, their stadium truck now with the ST, it's pretty much what this with the Firestorm, which would have been their, you know, uh, stadium truck at the time. So which one do you like better? I mean, I like the deal on this one, of course, yeah. Putting that aside still, do you like this one? Do you like that one? This has like a little bit more like, I don't know if it's sporty or whatever. Um, I do like this one, but I definitely like this one as well. So I'm not really 100% sure either. Now when it comes to the chassis, you know, I'm not really, I'm up in the air with both of them right now. Until I drive this one and kind of feel how this one is, how it handles, and how this one handles. But nonetheless, get back over to this one. Look at the body on this thing, man. It's like, you didn't flip it or anything like that. It's just in excellent condition. And uh, let's go to the chassis here. So we got this chassis here. And you guys can leave a comment down below. Do you like this setup here? It's kind of like, I would say like, this is what tracks this, maybe even just a team associate. They still rock this type of chassis. So, is it just a better chassis? I don't know. Transmission there, steel, steel gears in there. Of course this thing can handle 6S power. Why wouldn't it? I mean, not 6S power, I'm sorry. Um, you know, brushless power. I don't see why it couldn't. Steel dog bones that are in there as well. You know, full ball bearings. So definitely cool. Now, there's this chassis here. Now if we take this off, 
we can see that vertical twin plates that are there too. So like this one or this one. So we can kind of put them side by side. So you guys can see them both. So yeah, um, this went 16 miles an hour with the brushed system on it, which was a 12 turn. This has a 15 turn. And what do we think? Do we think this one's gonna go fast? I almost have my money more on this one going a little bit faster, even if we put the nickel metal hydride battery. Well, I'm gonna charge this one up, throw it in here. Let's see how fast this thing goes. Will it be faster, even though it's got a old school, let's say mo um, battery that's in there, will it go faster than this guy that had a 7.2 volts versus the 7 point, I'm sorry, 7.4 volts LiPo battery that was in it at like a 50 C. So what I was running in it, 5,000 milliamps. So I had that in there. And then we got the 7.2, 3,300 milliamps. You guys leave a comment down below. Let me know which one you think is going to be faster. Is the old school one 15 turn motor or the new school 12 turn motor, 16 miles an hour and question mark. We don't know how fast this thing's going. So I'm just looking at the chassis underneath this thing. Just didn't really get, it's got some scratches to it. And all in all, man, it was a win. Definitely stoked to drive this thing. So yeah, figure I'd share that with you guys. I did like a live video and shared it too, but a little bit more in depth comparing because I didn't have this one at the time, the, the new jump shot. So even just doing this too, like how does it look? I don't know, but uh, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you like about this video. And yeah, I can't wait to get this thing on the road, show it, see how fast it goes. So we'll do that one here this week for you guys. So anyway, stay tuned. We'll catch you on the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com. Sign up for our newsletter. Check us out. We've got Klarna. We've got payment options. We've got Christmas coming right around the corner. So time to stock up. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Later.